My name's Anik Jerva and I'm a star director with the Sentastic family in the Sensi world. We're doing an eight week leadership program and it's really important for us to know your why. So this is the part two video of your why. And if you didn't watch part one, you should go and watch part one. This is part two of what is your why and figuring out what's your why. And the more that you know what your why is, the better things will just be because then you have more of a purpose and know why you're doing it. So this is part of the intentional living and this is the part two of the video. So if you're just watching this one, you should go find the other video. Okay, the second question on finding out what your why is, what do you sing about? What always makes you happy? What puts a bounce in your step? What makes you jump for joy or spontaneously break into song? Back when I first heard this question, my answer didn't have a lot of depth. Good friends, good grades, food, and sports. What do you expect? I was only 18. Today, nothing makes me happier than seeing people become intentional about making a difference. I believe this is the key to transforming our world. Poet Ralph Waldo Emerson said, The purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference, that you have lived and lived well. I believe that when people experience what Emerson wrote about, they will discover their greatest joy. Recently, I had dinner with an advertising executive of author Linda Kaplan Toller. You may not know her name, but I'm sure you know her work. She's the creative person who came up with the duck for AFLAC. During our dinner conversation, we talked about acts of significance. She mentioned the Hebrew phrase, tikkum olam, and told me it means repairing the world. She said it was part of her faith tradition and it meant that no one should live in this world without trying to find a way to make it better. What a wonderful way to think about living a life that matters. Doing acts of significance brings more deep satisfaction than any other work I've ever known. It fires me up and keeps me going. Even when my schedule is out of control, deadlines are piling up, and the pace of life seems hectic, I seldom feel overwhel overworked. As the saying goes, work is not work unless you would rather be doing something else. There's nothing I'd rather be doing than help people make a difference for others. One of my favorite things I've done to help someone make a difference came to pass when a 12-year-old boy named Kyle Beard sent me a note along with a ribbon emphasized with the words, who I am makes a difference. Here's what Kyle note said. Dear, Mix Dear Mr. Maxwell, hello, how are you? Is the bookmark helping? I hope so. I know you are very busy planning your annual conference in Toledo, Ohio. I listen to your tapes and I know they help others. Please read the attached story. My youth group is doing a project just like this story. You're supposed to take an extra ribbon and give it to somebody that makes a difference in the life for you. The reason I am giving you my ribbon to you is because you have made a big difference in my life. And ever since I listened to your tape about eagles, I thought you were an eagle too. I know you're very busy, but if you could find five minutes to of your spare time to write me back and tell me who you gave your ribbon to, I would really appreciate it. Because in order to finish the project, you have to report back. I pray for you every night. Your kind friend, Kyle Beard. P.S. I understand if you don't have time to report back, but it's an honor for you to wear my ribbon. Kyle's message picked my interest, so I read the story by Hallis Bridge, which was called Who You Are Makes a Difference. In high school, teacher decided to honor the seniors in her class by giving each a ribbon imprinted with the words, who I am makes a difference. As she presented each, she told the student why he or she was important to her. She also gave each student three more ribbons to hand out to others, asking that they report back later with the results. One of the boys pinned the ribbon on a junior executive in appreciation for helping him with his career planning, asking him to pass along the other two ribbons. The junior executive pinned one on a surprise boss who was also known to be a bit of a grouch. The boss took the last ribbon home and gave it to his 14-year-old son. As I was driving home tonight, I started thinking about whom I would honor with this ribbon, and I thought of you. The man said to his son, I want to honor you. My days are very hectic, and when I come home, 
I don't pay a lot of attention to you. Sometimes I scream at you for not getting good grades in school, for your bedroom being mess. But somehow tonight, I just wanted to sit here and, well, just let you know that you make a difference to me. Beside your mother, you're the most important person in my life. You're a great kid and I love you. The son broke into tears because he didn't think his father cared at all and had been considering committing suicide. After reading Hallis Bridges' story, I had a deep desire to give Kyle an experience an experience he would never forget. Instead of reporting back to him, I invited Kyle and his mom to attend one of my conferences. After challenging the audience of 3,000 people to live an intentional life and make a difference, I invited Kyle to the stage. I introduced him to the crowd and told his story. I turned to Kyle and said, tonight I am taking your ribbon and I am challenging and passing it on to those in attendance. I turned to the audience and asked, how many of you would like a blue ribbon that says, who I am makes a difference. Everyone stood. My team and I happily passed out 6,000 ribbons that we had created for the event. One ribbon for each attendee, plus for each of them to pass it to someone who made a difference in their lives. I then asked every person to hold their ribbon high as photographer took a picture of Kyle and me with their entire audience in the background. Take this picture back to your youth group so they can see the result of your project. I said to Kyle, Kyle walked off the stage to a standing ovation. The crowd was ignited by this experience and I was forever changed. That night it was sealed in my soul that I would intentionally make a difference for others whenever I could and show them that they could make a difference too. That was 20 years ago and it still makes me sing. What do you sing about? What gives you great joy? What feeds your passion? What feeds your soul? What gets you excited? When I ask, what do you sing about? Many people respond by thinking about it entertaining us. What entertains us? There's certainly nothing wrong with being entertained or having fun. I love to have fun as much as the next person, but I'm really, really talking about is something that resonates deep level, on a deep level. Something that makes contented joy spontaneously rise up within you. It's the kind of thing you would do for free just because, once again, these are the clues that help you to understand what your purpose, your, to know your why. So think about what brings you joy. What would you do for free? The, you have no bills. And what would you do for free? That's a really big clue on what is your why. Well, if you have a full-time job and you can do this as volunteer, what would you do for free? Me, what I love is inspiring people. I love to pump them up and make them feel like worth. I love doing that. I love helping and inspiring and I did so many motivational talks and workshops for free because I just know that I've been put on this planet to do that. And for you, it might not be something great like that. It might be something smaller. And again, we need all types of people. We can't all be splashy and bubbly like me because then we won't have much order in the world. You're going to call to request something and someone, they're going to forget. And my order didn't show. Oh my God, I forgot to place the order. <laughs> you know, so it doesn't need to be big and flashy. Just, it needs to be truthful. Go deep into your heart and what makes you jump for joy. That's your second clue. And I got a third video for you. The third clue. I will be posting the video really soon. Can't wait to hear what your why is. Feel free to share. I want to know. Bye.